Hey guys, so it's November 5th, aka me and Christian's eight year anniversary. And I don't know, it's just special to me because we haven't been together for like our last three anniversaries. Hey Christian, when I lived in Saskatoon, did you come and visit me on our around our anniversary? Yes. Okay, that's what I thought. So we were when I lived in Saskatoon, he came and visited me. But then these last three years that I've been in Vancouver, we haven't been together on our anniversary. So it's kind of special. It's special! Last year in the vlogs, we just had like a little Skype date <laughs> on our anniversary. So yeah, I need to change though, because this is, this is just not working right now. <laughs> I'm going to do my hair and makeup, change my clothes. I've got like my torn pants on. Yeah. So yeah, we're going to go to that top of Vancouver restaurant that spins so we'll see how that goes <laughs> watch the screws while i get ready well, i'm pretty much ready now i just gotta put in my earrings and get my purse in order because i want to switch out my purse and um i was we were gonna sit down and do like a little how we met thingy but we gotta get going soon so i might save that for when we get back and just kind of like tell the story of how me and christian met and our journey so yeah first i need to pick some earrings and i think i want these ones usually when i wear this dress I go with these big dangly ones but I'm not really in the mood for those I think I'm just gonna go with some small silver ones something simple and look at me I'm wearing eyeshadow and mascara for the first time in forever like seriously forever I don't remember the last time it's been because my surgery was over a month ago and then I didn't wear any makeup for I think more than two weeks before that other than like foundation and a little bit of mascara but like the eyeliner and eyeshadow is new Ooh, <laughs> feeling extra fancy. Got my super thick tights on, but I'm sad because it's wearing through right here. It's almost a hole, but not quite. But it will look stupid if I wore ballet flats or something. So I have to get more tights. More tights. More tights. Wearing my cute jacket today. You got your fancy one on too. Looking handsome. That there is the place. Not the best angle, but it's all I can do. All right, let's find out where we need to go. Okay, we're in the elevator. It's almost like a shorter space needle. That's what it feels like. Yep. Okay, let's see if we're gonna get any kind of a view here. Oh, sort of, yeah. See my reflection. <laughs> there you go. This feels a bit more, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Cut a few off. We're not gonna go that high, but it's pretty cool. There's that bell building. And of course, I can always see more in real life than the camera picks up because the camera's not so good at, in dark. But that's pretty cool. Anything exciting this way? The Delta. Uh, Rogers? Ooh. Oh, BC Place. Oh, yeah, that blue thing? Yeah. It's BC Place right over there. feeling pretty fancy so far it's kind of again the camera's not picking up much but we're sitting right by the window with a view all the way around and we're slowly turning I just think it's funny because obviously the center doesn't rotate but that means our position changes so like if the waiter comes out of a room we have moved and they gotta like track us down I think it's funny <laughs> mm, it's still really dark but there's a really nice bridge over there <laughs> Sun. I just wanted to zoom in on this. This is the water. You can't tell on camera, but this is a Chevron gas station on the water. <laughs> For boats, I guess. <laughs> so how do you like in this place, Christian? It is fancy. We decided to go with a three-course meal. It's like a Caesar salad, and then you get lamb or ribs. I went with ribs because she went with lamb, lamb shank, and then tiramisu for dessert. So this place is like a little, you know, kind of expensive, but I mean, it's our anniversary, our first anniversary in a few years that we get to spend together. So we're kind of just treating ourselves. This is so much food. Okay, we each got two buns. I only ate one. Now there's this huge Caesar salad for the appetizer. Holy crap. <laughs> Again, this looks much less impressive on camera, but these are big dogs over there. Here we have BC Place. And what bridge is that, Christian? Do you know? I don't know what it's called, but you can see all the lights That's there. Oh, it's a bridge. Or is it just an overpass? It's an overpass. Oh, yeah, yeah, because there's no water there. That's why I was confused. 
But yeah, BC Place changes colors all the time, but right now it is blue. Oh wait, it's turning purple as we watch. It's been blue for a while. Or no, maybe it was always purple. Maybe I'm crazy. I'm crazy. There's Christian's lamb shank, if you can even see it. <laughs> Here's my ribs. Yeah, you can't see anything, whatever. I had to bust out my phone light to show this. This is the tiramisu, and it even says tiramisu on the side. <laughs> Christian has one too. Light in the face. Top of Vancouver mint. What? Oh, pug in a sweater. This is Christian's new phone, by the way. We just got it today. Nexus 5? Yep. Nice. Wait, do I have anything in my teeth? Because I didn't floss. No, you're good. I feel ribs getting in my teeth at the restaurant. Anyway, so we're back now. And I thought we'd kind of tell the story of how we met and how Billy Christian came to be. <laughs> Probably be me telling most of it. Probably. So I think we need to go back to when I first moved to Medicine Hat. So I came from a small town in Saskatchewan population about a thousand so when I moved to Medicine Hat to me it was a big city at the time now I'm like no Medicine Hat's actually pretty small but I thought it was huge and I was the new girl in class and I was in French immersion and Christian happened to also be in French immersion and so we were in the same class and I don't know I don't really know what my first impression was of you because I was meeting so many new faces that like everyone was just a face what were your thoughts when I was the new girl she's pretty <laughs> Did you actually think yes. that? Okay. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure, you know my giant hoop earrings, the ones that you can like easily fit your hands mm -hmm. through? I'm pretty sure I wore those the first day because they were on, it was on my student ID card. Oh yeah. And they took my picture. Do you sound like, <laughs> you sound like you're fake talking. <laughs> anyway, so I was the new girl with my giant hoop earrings. This was grade 10, by the way. I moved right in the middle of the first semester. So it was like right in the middle of all the classes, which is crazy, but that's a different story. So yeah, Christian was in my French immersion class, and I think some of our first interactions were with La Vache Espagnole. La Vache Espagnole. It was this video project we had to do for French class? Uh, social. Was it for social? Probably. I don't remember much of it, but I remember it was me and Christian and one other guy, and they invited me to be part of their group, and we filmed a skit about a Spanish cow, and a gingerbread man named Gingy, and... To be honest, at the time, I kind of had a little crush on Tyson at the time. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty short-lived, but yeah. That, yeah. He's an attractive man. <laughs> and so, I don't know. We started kind of getting to know each other, like get closer when we'd walk home from school. Because our houses were in the same direction, but my house was twice as far as Christian's. And so I could technically take a bus. He couldn't because he was close enough to the school that there's wasn't, you know, they, they assign you buses and stuff. And I was assigned a bus, but I would never take it because, well, I would take it in the wintertime, but if it was nice weather, I would pretty much always walk home just because it was nice and because I'd kind of hope to walk with Christian, like just kind of hope to run into him sort of thing. Because we wouldn't meet at our lockers and walk together. It'd just be like we'd catch up. One of us would catch up to the other. And it was weird because I kind of had a crush on him sometimes and sometimes I didn't. It was really on and off. And so, yeah, but we would always walk home together and just talk and kind of that's how we got close. And where do we go to next? I was thinking the car accident, Jody's car accident, but we've got to go before that too. <laughs> what Christian doesn't want me to talk about. <laughs> I mentioned it in my Draw My Life video about how we went to a fair together, but... They're, Jody and Alyn were supposed to come with us, and maybe more people, I don't know, but Christian shows up at my house and tells me no one else can make it, and so it's just me and him, and I was just like, okay. <laughs> like, I was really unsure about it, and my family was teasing me about it, and like, even the Rummeler boys were there, and like, I was getting so teased that I was going to the fair with this boy, and I was like, there's supposed to be other people. There was supposed to be other people. <laughs> That part of the story sure, is true. Sure, sure. And so we went to the fair together. And I just remember things like you kind of leading me through the crowd by like putting your hand on the small of my back and stuff. Nice. And I was just kind of like... I don't remember that. I remember thinking like, I can get around myself. <laughs> Not that I was like mean. It was just kind of like, oh, I don't know. I was, yeah. And at the end of the night, we were waiting for his mom to come pick us up. And we we're sitting in the parking lot. And Christian asked me out. And I turned him down. <laughs> oh, poor Christian. 
Then we like sat there in silence till your mom came <laughs> to ride all the way home. It's good times, good times. So awkward. And so that was right at the start of the summer, I think. And then, so that's all grade 10, like that was the end of grade 10. And then, so start of grade 11. So one day we were hanging out. Well, we were with Jody and Lynn in the car, but there were other people like in the other vehicle. And then we were meeting at someone's house. Yeah, there was Jeff, Jimmy. Okay, they don't know who yeah. those people are. <laughs> Anyway, we were with a lot of people, but there were four of us in Jody's car, and um, she decides to race the people who were in the truck. And this is like... End of winter, so there's still ice? No, it started winter. No, it had to have been the start, because we started dating in November, yeah. so this would have to have been October. It was October, so there's lots Why of Why was there... I guess, yeah, that's possible, but it would have had to have been like early October. There's always snow in Madison had in October. Because I remember it was around my birthday. Anyway, so... The streets were icy for some, like they, it was weird because there wasn't really any snow, but there were icy patches on the street. It's yeah. kind of like it had snowed and melted kind of thing. Probably. And so we were flying through these residential areas with curve, like it, it was curved, like there's some kind of bend in the road. It wasn't a corner, yeah. but ran around bend, car slid. We flew across someone's lawn, like tore up their bushes, like completely derooted this big round bush and slammed into their parked truck. And Christian was on the side that got hit. Like it was the back driver side, which is where Christian was sitting. That's the side that hit the truck. And you hit your head, didn't you? Yes. Yeah. Good times. I didn't get hurt, but it was just like whoosh, like crash into this truck. And the car was so total. Like it was bad. <laughs> and so we were standing out in the cold, waiting for police, waiting for parents, like all this kind of stuff. And it was freezing. And I remember standing near Christian and he put his arms around me and we were kind of like standing there huddling together it was all like ooh because we weren't dating at the time and uh, we ended up hanging out the next day because you know we walk home together kind of thing hung out at his place and then it was a month later that we hung out again that's why I'm saying this had to have happened early October the crash yeah because it, I remember it being a month apart what did we because it was October 4th when we hung out. I actually know this. It was the day after my birthday. And you said, since I didn't get you anything for my birthday, like, you want to come hang out? Like, yes. That was your wording that you used. So it was October That's 4th, sweet. the first time we hung out. And then, <laughs> dis not December, November 5th, so pretty much exactly a month later, uh, I went over to his place again. And then that's the evening he ended up asking me out. And I said yes that time. <laughs> I'm going into a lot of detail. This is taking forever. <laughs> Although this next part, there's not much to it. So yeah, we just dated. That was the beginning of grade 11. We started dating. And then that winter, we were nominated to be Snow King and Queen at the Snowball. We didn't, we didn't win. Did not win. <laughs> we were nominated, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and so, um, yeah. And then we dated for a long time. And in my third year of college, because I don't think, you know, there's not much eventful that happened. We not just really. dated. My first, my third year of college, I moved to Saskatoon, and Christian was still in Medicine Hat. Or you in Lethbridge, but you I were was in Medicine Hat. I was only entering my second year. Okay, so you he was in Medicine Hat. I was in Saskatoon. So different provinces. So that's when we started having a long distance relationship. Although it was only a five hour drive, so it wasn't terrible compared to like Vancouver. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, I went to school in Saskatoon for like what eight or nine months. And then I moved back to Medicine Hat for the summer. So we were together again for like four or five months. And then that's when you went to Lethbridge. Yes. And, and then I moved to Vancouver because I decided to switch out my schooling and everything. So I moved out to Vancouver by myself. And then it was really long distance because it's, it's a pretty intense drive. So we usually had to fly. And so I went home. It took us longer than that to get here, though, when we moved me up. It took more like 15 with the stops we made, plus like traffic jam when we got to Vancouver. So it was like a 15 hour drive. And Bruce speeds heavily. That's true. And, anyways, it varies, I guess. <laughs> and so I was here in Vancouver, super far away from Christian, but I would fly home every three months between semesters because I had school all year round, but I'd get a two week break between each semester. And then he came and visited me a couple times as well. And so, like, we just made it work. We were long distance. Because, okay, so there was a two years I was there for school. Because I went to school October through the next October until June. 
So it was like almost, it was like a year and a half really because I did, took some of my courses online. Anyway, and um, then I, even after I graduated, we were still long distance because he didn't move in until December, like very end of December of last year. So yeah, I don't know. So that was kind of like the story of like how we were long distance for a long time and stayed together. So yeah, anything I'm kind of missing you want to add? I think that was it. The whole how, yeah, how we got to date and then kind of how we were apart and now we're back together and living together. Yeah. It's exciting. So, yay. <laughs> That's our little story. <laughs> I just thought of something else that I kind of wanted to mention that I forgot. Is that, like, we never fight. Do you ever think that's weird? Like, we've never gotten into an, a fight before. Like, there's been times where we're, like, jokingly disagree between something, but, like, we've never yelled at each other. No. I think the closest we've got to a fight is when I missed your 18th birthday. That was not even... He brings that up, but I'm like, that was not even close to being a fight. That was more like me I'm saying that's mocking him for got. missing my 18th birthday. Oh, there's one right there. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. That was not even, like, a fight, though. It was just, like, to tease him about it because he wanted to, like, help coach a volleyball game. And I was like, I'm missing my 18th birthday. But that was, like, not even a fight. We just, I think it's because we're both mellow and, like, we don't, we're not quick to get angry and freak out over little things like some people do. So it's just, like, you know, we're both pretty easygoing. We'll have a fight eventually. Anyway, I'm probably going to wash up for bed right away. Yeah, it's 1040. So we got back pretty dang late. Because, I mean, a reservation was for eight and we were there for quite a while with our three-course meal and just enjoying the view. Just, <laughs> Christine, Christine. What up? My boyfriend, Christine. Mm. <laughs> we kissed on camera. It's so taboo. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm going to go to bed. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Wave, Christian. <laughs> well, that's the most expensive dinner I've ever purchased. <laughs>